Hey guys, good morning here. Uh, I'm going to do a Elton John tune, uh, another piano song. Uh, we're going to try to get a guitar arrangement for it. Um, I've been showing two different views of the instrument uh, because, you know, I want to show the picking hand uh, or the strumming pattern. And then obviously want to show the fretting hand. I've gotten some comments uh, a little bit negative um, why are you hiding your hands? Dude, I'm not hiding my hands. I'm trying to show you a couple different views. I don't have all this tricked out equipment, guys, like these other tutorials where they give you 16 different views. I'm retired. I'm just doing this for fun. You know, I'm not making money. I'm just trying to be helpful. So, you know, uh, if you're not into the production qu uh, quality, that's cool. See ya, you know. Um, so your song, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to capo on the on the third fret, and uh, that kind of makes things a little bit easier because now we can just do a C. Now this is actually E flat. Now we talked before about how, you know, piano players can hit a black key as easy as they can hit a white key. Uh, so flats and sharps aren't really an issue for them. For us as guitar players, flats and sharps are because none of these open strings ring uh, a flat or a sharp. So they're for you need the capo as a physical crutch or a, a musical crutch, just so you can wrap your mind around what's going on, especially with, you know, Stevie Wonder tunes, Elton John, anything that's a piano based kind of uh, tune or written on piano, certainly. What piano players do is uh, with piano scores, you'll see a lot of their music that has like, you know, a A flat with a B flat and a bass, you know, so they're always doing that kind of stuff. Um, so we're going to mimic that as best we can. There's a legit intro to this. Uh, I'll tap that out and I'll have a guitar arrangement for that. We'll do that in another video, uh, another part. This one, uh, the basic chords, is just a C with an E flat in the bass. I mean, a C, which is actually E flat. Then we go to A flat, which is like that. I'll show you that chord a little bit closer in a second. If we go to G... That's uh, actually B flat now. And then we go back to C, which is actually E flat. So we're in the key of E flat. Uh, down here, I just ring kind of like, you know, just kind of do that claw thing where I'm um, kind of just kind of petting the strings, you know. Uh, other times I will strum it, you know, uh, depending on um, what I'm going for. You know, or uh, finger style, you know. But uh, when we go through uh, that, uh, kind of pick your poison there, whether you want to strum it uh, or you just want to arpeggiate those chords, you know, so it'd be, it's a little bit funny. Feeling inside. You know, and as we go through these, not one of those. Then we go back to this. I don't have much money, but so we're, you know, if you want to take the pick and uh, do it with the pick that way, it would be uh, it's a little bit funny, just kind of a generic pattern. This feels 